fundraising event. We will not be able to achieve much without your continued support. I would like to introduce our honorable guest, Siglain Mushtaq and Shweb Akhtar. Brother Shweb Akhtar, it is my privilege to introduce a man who has made his mark on the cricket field and by Allah's will is now making an incredible impact in a completely different field that is the path of Dawah. When we speak of Shoaib Akhtar, we talk of a legend who was destined to break barriers and set records. Known to be the world as Raval Pindi Express. He was the fastest bowler of his time. His sheer speed and dedication made him a symbol of excellence in cricket. Today, Shweb Akhtar is here with us as a man with a higher purpose chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to channel his energy and influence towards spreading the message of peace compassion and unity through Dawah and bring people closer to the truth of Islam. His journey from the cricket pitch to a Dawah center is no coincidence, it is destiny. His story from a young boy in Pakistan with the big dreams to becoming a world icon. His transition to becoming a part of this Dawa Foundation is a beautiful reminder that life through purpose goes far beyond in the world of success. Let us welcome Brother Shwebakar, the world fastest bowler and most importantly, the man of conviction and faith. A brother whose dedication to Dawa remind us all that true victory lies in serving Allah. Thank you, Shoebai, for being here and for inspiring us all on this incredible journey. Thank you so much. Now I would like to introduce our pioneer of the fundraising who was supporting this event Tremendously, for many years, our guest of honor, Brother Siklain Mushtaq. A man who made a remarkable mark on the world of cricket by Allah Divine Wisdom is now contributing to a much greater cause we welcome Brother Sikhle Mushta, a legend in the cricketing world and a humble servant of Allah, now dedicating his work to Dawa. Sikhle Mushta is one of the finest spin bowlers in history. He is known for his genius on the field. The world admires him for his innovation, his skill, and unwavering commitment known for introducing the Dusra. <laughs> Brothers claim unique spin techniques mystified batsmen around the globe and set new standards in cricket. He redefined what is meant to be a spinner, inspiring countless young cricketer and securing in place among the greats. Today, Brother Siklain is here with a different purpose, a mission far beyond the cricket field. Allah, in his infinite wisdom, has blessed him with the opportunity to be part of Dawa Foundation. From the heart, 
of spinning the cricket ball. Brother Siklin is now turning hearts towards faith and understanding. His journey from the stadium to Tawa is a testament to his life, true purpose shaped by Allah's will. Brother Siklin, presence here is significant because of his fame and inspiration. His story speaks to millions who admire him and now they see him dedicating his life to the message of peace and compassion that Islam brings to the world. With his powerful influence and genuine heart, she claimed can connect with people, inviting them to understanding, truth, mercy, and values. We are incredibly blessed to have Sikhlein Mushtaq as a part of this Dawa Center. His humility, dedication, and faith bring immense value to this mission. May his presence inspire all of us and may Allah use this platform with Sikhlein's support to bring more people closer to the understanding and peace and unity. Let us welcome Siklain Mushta as a brother dedicated to a higher purpose. May Allah bless him and all of us in this journey and may this event bring the best for Tawbe Dawa Center and everyone who is part of it. Thank you Siklain Mai for being our inspiration. Thank you so much. Groundbreaking news for Tawheed Dawa Center. Brother and sisters, as we gather here today, we stand on a border of an incredible opportunity, a moment that can define the future of our community and more importantly, the legacy we leave behind for generations to come. Today marked not just as the grand groundbreaking for a physical structure for the Vintawa Center, but as a groundbreaking of our aspiration, our dream, and our commitment to our faith and community. We are here to discuss a project that beyond brick and mortar. We are putting down the foundation for a Dawa Center in Somerset, New Jersey that will be a beacon of hope, learning and spiritual growth for our children, families, and community in large. This is not just a building, it is a sanctuary where our young people will learn the Quran, our community and families will gather for prayers where new generation of Muslims will be empowered to live their lives with purpose guided by the teaching of Islam. In conclusion, brother and sister, tonight as we move forward with the grant breaking and fundraising for this Tawas Center, together we can turn this vision into reality. May Allah keep us safe, keep us together. Jazakallah khair. I will start inshallah. Uh, very first thing I wanted to uh, let out because I, I, brothers are coming for the first time. This is uh, Tawhid Dawa Center. It uh, used to be known as uh, Dawa Education Academy, Matajan Usalla, many, many names. We started in 2015 and Alhamdulillah we were serving in Matajan Musalla a lot. You will be seeing a lot of photos of our old days which we used to be in Matajan. And we used to serve in uh, uh, the, uh, the Central Jersey area. Alhamdulillah we have a lot of programs um, which we did it before and we are still running. Alhamdulillah 6 Kilmer Road is up and uh, running. Alhamdulillah we started the month of already there. 
and inshallah we'll have all the salah and everything inshallah this week or next week inshallah we'll have the our guest will be there also inshallah at some six kilmar maybe this weekend or uh, whenever they have time inshallah we'll start that place and inshallah after that day inshallah we'll be starting our all the programs there inshallah so in 2015 to now alhamdulillah we started the bhakta evening gives we have alhamdulillah more than 55 students who are doing everyday bhakta to us we have also Alima course full time. Our sisters, they are studying from morning 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock the Islamic study. And after that they have the schooling, which is the from Bayan Academy, which is our partner on study. So Alhamdulillah we have that. Also we have the HIPS program in the morning. And they also from 8 o'clock to up to the Salah and after the Salah we have the program for uh, schooling for them also. And many, many more programs also you can see that, you know, by time Salah, uh, Bayan, with the lect lectures with all the scholars around the, you know, the, not only U.S., also from outside also. Also, we have Juma and Musla, there are many, many locations between the Juma also, Eid prayer. All this program we are doing, but we were struggling. We were struggling with what? With the, our own place. Like Matachan, we used to do a lot of services. But all of a sudden, it went on construction and we were nowhere, you know. Now we have to bring the Salah at the school street, Juma at Muslaj, all the different, different locations we this be doing in a holiday. So we are struggling with the place, with the Father of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Dua of all this community member. We found very good location, as, as many people knowing that 630 South Middle West Road, which is 16 acre land. The privilege of this place is it has, it has the pre preliminary approval of you know the, the making the the Islamic center there. So that was, you know, the, uh, another community, they were building the, you know, the, the, the prayer area there. But then they backed out and gave Alhamdulillah acquired this land. And Alhamdulillah, 16 acre land is under the, un, under the deed of, you know, the Tawhidao center. Now, our next stage is, we have to start the, you know, the programs there. We have to start the, you know, the Ibadah there. For that, making the building over there, we need to start with it. Alhamdulillah, 21,000 square feet building, the first stage will be starting soon, inshallah. With the dua of you, with the help of you, inshallah, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, inshallah, will give, give us a chance that inshallah, we will start our program very soon over there and construction very soon, inshallah. We're hoping that within a couple of months, inshallah, we wanted to do the groundbreaking. For that, we, you know, this fundraising we had, uh, you know, set with you and we very happy with our you know the guests they travel all the way from you know, Pakistan to here to support us for this center and for all this activity. Uh, now I don't want to do further delay inshallah give the uh, mind to our guests inshallah they will give us uh, some nasiha and some words and inshallah we can proceed from here. Uh, thank you very much Sadan for asking me to, to come here and to raise money for such a noble cause and uh, you know, it's always been privileged, I've done this many times before, it's always been privileged uh, to be out there and to raise the fund for such cause. Uh, I'm not taking so much long that, like any other people, when it comes to raising the funds. Uh, let me tell you something, you know, it is very important. All of me youngsters and everybody who's sitting here. And, I said, hey, what are you going to do? Look, if you have a dollar or a thousand dollars, you have a lot of money. If you have a dollar or a thousand dollars, you have a thousand dollars. But the trick of the trade is, the benefit that you give is the benefit of the benefit. The benefit of the benefit is the benefit of the benefit. This level goes up. So the reason why I'm going to ask you to you know, open your hearts and arms in the pockets uh, for this noble cause, what they are doing, uh, building a mosque, obviously, you know that it's going to, Jumma is going to be happening, Tabligh is going to be happening. You know, when I was in Rosa, I was in the house, 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 I I mean, if someone becomes a person who becomes a person, he becomes a person who becomes a person, he becomes a person who becomes a person, he becomes a person who becomes a person. So, this is what matters. In the end, that you have to be a person who is a person. But for that, you know, I'm a 
as a fast bowler, I need a ground to practice. I need a ground to, you know, to go out there and you know to showcase my talent. The bachcha ko khada do yaar. The bachcha ko khada do mere. So, as the victors go through the ground, that's the need of the Islam to masjid. Masjid is not only a masjid; it is an epic point for you to come as a community, take a thing or two, learn something, which they will make sure that you take something when you go home, and make sure that you know. You'll be as helpful like these people are. So the masjid is is the practicing ground for the Muslim to go out there and practice your religion, right? But at the same time, practicing your religion doesn't mean that you know you should not able to learn many other things in the in the mosque. It is just an opportunity for you guys to come out there. You know, you know, you can say that to your children and the grandchildren to come. Here, I participated. I have made sure that the hard earned money which I have earned, that I have given to this one brick and the wall and to the lights and to the flooring. You know, you name the you name the items. You know, you can contribute. The reason why we are here, you know, to contribute, we are among you, asking you, requesting you, not for me. It is for your own salary. I am not doing it. हर बंदे ने अपने भी कबर में जाना है हर बंदे ने अपने हाथ से जाना है एक एक पत्थर लगा दोगे एक ईट लगा दोगे ट्रस्ट में अल्लाह की नजर बहुत बड़ी चीज है सो ऑल आई वांट टू सेंड यू इज यार अपना दिल खोल के जो भी है मैं भी करूंगा आप भी करिएगा कोशिश करते हैं बट इट्स फॉर द कम्युनिटी इट इज फॉर एवरी कम्युनिटी इट्स नॉट ओनली फॉर मुस्लिम मसीज फॉर एवरीबॉडी हुएवर वांट्स वांट्स वॉक इन प्लीज वॉक इन You know, we want to understand our religion. Please do, and that's what this tabligh is all about. So, so do make sure that you know you come out there, participate. You know, हम बच्चों के कपड़ों पे कितने पैसे लगा देते हैं यार? Winter is coming, fast approaching now. अभी jackets लेनी हैं, अलग किसी साल की jackets पड़ी भी हैं. अभी लेनी है jackets लेनी हैं, अभी सारा कुछ करना है. हमें दो तीन साल दौरान कोई लगा देना एक बच्चे भी. ऐसे ही है ना? अपने आंखों पे भी पैसे लगा इट्स एस सब सो अल्लाह को बहुत खुश रखे और दुनिया काम चलती रही है लेकिन दिन का काम अगर हाथ में आ रहा है तो पकड़ लो यार मेरी एक रिक्वेस्ट है यंगस्टर बैठे हुए हमारे छोटे भाई बैठे हुए तो आपसे ये रिक्वेस्ट हो गई कि यार दिल खोल के रिलेशन कीजिए मैं आपके साथ रहूँगा और जो भी आपको कुछ सवाल करना है खाना खाने को पहले क्यों खाना खोल गया तुझे गाली सुन दी सो जो भी आपने इंट्रैक्शन कर रही हैं सवाल करना है तस्वीरें किसी में यहाँ खड़ा बट बिफोर दैट मेक शो दैट यू ओपन योर आंसर इन पॉकेट्स एंड योर हार्ट थैंक यू ये बदर नज़र सलाम वाले कुरहमतुल्लाह I think Brother Shweb put all the words which I was thinking to put front of you guys. See, we all know that the Masjid is the house of Allah. Masjid is the house of Allah. And Madrasa is the house of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's a great opportunity for all of us to build the house of Allah and to build the house of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it will be beneficial for us and for our generations. And this is our responsibility to look after our generation. We need to create the environment and we need to make an effort for that. If you see this life is very short, very precious and very valuable as well. Life is very short. Do the good deeds as much as we can. And it's very precious when we will do the good deeds. And this life is very unpredictable as well. 
we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So it's a great opportunity for all of us. And I think all the brothers who started this journey, set the vision for the community, for our generation, I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, shower upon his mercies and bounties on them. It's not an ordinary vision or mission. And Alhamdulillah, I think we all, not just today, you guys being involved, I think, uh, when they started uh, this journey. And not only for your effort, your support, because of that, that uh, Tawheed Dawa Center bought this land, approximately 16 acres, and we have the contribution in that vision. And now, obviously, they are going for earth breaking. And uh, yeah, keep striving. Keep striving. Building the house of Allah and building the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the house of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I think this is this is very, very valuable for our generation. Just imagine if there is no house of Allah and if there is no house of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Just imagine what will happen to our generation. We are here in the USA. We need to create that environment for our generation. Let me share one true story. Since 97, I have been living in England. And I think probably 30 years back, a lot of refugees went to England. Uh, approximately 30, 35 years back from Kosovo. And we all know that the Kosovo is a Muslim country. Approximately 25, 30,000 refugees went there. They were Muslim. But they didn't get the environment. There wasn't any madrasa around them. There wasn't any masjid around them. And now they all are out of Islam. They all are out of Islam. So we need House of Allah. That is our need. We need House of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Who will get the knowledge of Deen? When we get the knowledge of Deen, then we will know what is the right and what is wrong. We will come close to Allah and we will come close to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We make a lot of effort to earn dunya or to learn the deen. Same way we need to make a lot of effort to learn the to learn Iman, to bring Iman into our life as well. So we need to make an effort for that. My humble request to all of you guys, you've been brilliant, you've been supporting this cause, noble cause, and humble request, please carry on and keep supporting this uh, Tawheed Dawa Center. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jazakumullah khair. I have some time by inshallah. Further, I don't want to make more delay. Our request about Mawlana Suhaib Sahib inshallah to encourage us inshallah and explain us inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa rahmatullah. I guess, you know, we are out of energy, right? Don't worry, the food is waiting. The food is waiting and we don't want the food to wait for too long, right? So let's try one more time, inshallah. This time with energy, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, wahdah wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabiyya ba'dah wa sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi wa dhuriyyatihi wa ulamai ummatihi wa mushtahidina li dinihi wa tabi'ina lahum bi ihsan ila yawm al-deen. Alhamdulillah. According to the ulamas, there are three types of people who help. How many types? Three categories of individuals who help. Number one category of those individuals are those individuals who help themselves. Who help themselves. 
in the eyes of Islam, according to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, those people who help themselves are specifically those people who make them better Muslims, who teach them the deen of Islam. Right? This is how we help ourselves. Allah says, those individuals who are able to safeguard themselves from hellfire and enter Jannah, they are the successful ones and they are the ones who help themselves. That's the first character. And regarding that, Rasulullah said that if someone helps them, themselves by learning the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are walking towards Jannah. So when we help ourselves to become better Muslims, ideal Muslims, ideal Muslims, then we are walking towards what? Jannah. That's the reward. Second category of people are those individuals who help others. Who help others. In regards to them, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you help others, definitely Allah will help you. Definitely Allah will help you. If you become the means of bringing comfort to anybody, Allah will make sure according to the hadith of Rasulullah that you are getting the comfort first before giving to the other one. This is the hadith of Rasulullah that when a banda, when a slave of Allah makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, bless my brother, bless my sister with this benefit or with this barakah, Allah says to the angel, first bless the person who is asking for it, then give to the other person. So when we help others, we are getting the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are assured to be getting the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Third category of helpers are those individuals who help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who help who? The deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first category are those individuals who help themselves. Second category are those individuals who help others. And the third category are those individuals who help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is the reward? When you help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Holy Quran, the reward is beyond our understanding and comp comprehension. And the reward lies with Allah because Allah cannot explain it. We don't have the capability and the capacity to understand and comprehend that reward. So Allah says in the Holy Quran, فَلَهُ أَجُوهُ وَعِنَّ رَبِّهِ Oh my Banda, you will come to me on the day of Qiyamah and I myself will be the reward for you. Say SubhanAllah. I myself will be there. Reward. I'll tell you a story. There was a king. He had a lot of wazirs in a lot of ministers. So he told all the ministers that today, my ministers, I will give everything. I will give everyone whatever they want. One thing they can choose. Whatever they want, I will give them. So one minister came forward and he said, Oh, king, I need a big tax. Another one came and said, I want to be a governor of this country. I want to be a governor of this location. Another minister came and told the king, Oh king, I need to come close to you to tell you what I want. So the king said, Okay, no problem, come. And the king, the minister came forward and he went to the king and he put the hand on the shoulder of the king. And the king said, What do you want? And he said, I want you. I want you. I don't want anything else. And this is exactly what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. That who has attained man wajatani wajatna kulla shay. Who has attained Allah has attained everything. Woman fatani fata kulla shay. Utani fata kulla shay. That whoever has not attained me, he has lost everything. And one of the ways that we can attain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the word of Allah is to help the deen of Allah. Is help to deen, the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to understand and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say Amen. Today, we are all here to help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes or no? Brothers, say it loudly. Yes or no? Yes, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our support. Look, my dear scripture brothers, Allah is not in need of us. We have to remember that at all times. Allah is not 
in need of us. Allah is not in need of our love. Allah is not in need of any fundraisings. Allah is giving us the opportunity to come here to get Allah. We will be the blessed ones. We will be the lucky ones. That if when we, our energy and our effort and our money is being utilized to attain Allah. This is an opportunity for us. And this is how it was understood by the Sahaba of Allah. Whenever there was any taqaza, when whenever there was any taqaza, all the Sahaba of Allah did their best to support Rasulullah to accomplish his mission. Yes or no? We all know that. Everything and anything was sacrificed for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make sure that whatever Rasulullah wanted to accomplish, wanted to establish, it was done. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that characteristic. Say Ameen. So my dear speaker brothers, today we are here to support Tawheed Da'wah Center. And we learned that Alhamdulillah they have bought a 16 acre of land. And Alhamdulillah they're building a structure, inshallah, with your dua and support. 21,000 square feet. It's a pretty huge building. It's a pretty big building. And Alhamdulillah they already have their approval from the government, from the Department of Buildings, which is one of the difficult things to get in New Jersey, from what I know. And they all have that, Alhamdulillah. All the requirements are complete. Now they want to do the groundbreaking and they want to start the work. And to start the work of such a huge project, they need your support. And they need your du'as. And we need approximately $2.5 million to start this project, to get this project rolling. You know, whenever we had, I remember, uh, when we were helping building out of Islamic Center, one of the uh, centers in uh, New York, the contractor first asked, can we get a bank statement from, uh, for, for your organization to understand that you can support this project? So to get this project rolling, one thing that we need to do, at least have sufficient amount of money in our bank for this project to roll forward, to move forward. We cannot start this project with few hundred thousand dollars. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to understand inshallah. So my dear speaker brothers, I will start with a very small number. That is nothing compared to what? 2.5 billion dollars. But if we come forward to the best of our ability to help this Tawheed Da'wah Center, we will get the same reward as completing the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned through hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we all know this famous hadith, yes or no? That whoever builds a house of Allah, Allah will build him a palace where? In Jannah. Another hadith mentions that you don't need to fully build the whole house. Rasulullah said, if you build a house of Allah smaller than the sparrow's nest, you know that bird sparrow? It's pretty small, this big. And the nest is going to be only a big. This is nothing compared to the 21,000 square feet building that the Wahid Dawah Center is building. But if we give $25,000 today for the sake of the Wahid Dawah Center, it would be like we are building a sparrow's nest, yes or no? Sparrow's nest, right? But still, Allah is so generous. Allah is so generous that even if we give $25,000 today, Allah says, I will give you a palace in Jannah. Which cannot buy a palace in So my dear respected brothers, who is the first one inshallah to raise his hand to support the Wahid Da'wah Center for $25,000 inshallah today? Who is the first individual who will be supporting the Wahid Da'wah Center for $25,000 today inshallah? My dear respected brothers, the first person to raise his hand is always the most difficult one, right? And this is why Allah says in the Holy Quran, al those individuals who become the first for any khayr, any good deeds, they will always be remembered in such manner in the eyes of Allah. For example, in the beginning of Islam stage, the people who participated in the Battle of Badr, 313. Later on, there were thousands of individuals, 124,000 Sahaba did Hajj with Rasulullah wasallam. But first, there was only 300. 13. And those Sahabas were always remembered among the Sahabas as Badri Sahaba. They were respected. 
So my dear respected brothers, who is that individual inshallah? Who will be the first one to raise his hand to support Tawheed Dawah Center for $25,000 inshallah? We need at least one brother inshallah. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you do not need to pay that $25,000 today. You can make that commitment inshallah, pray over time. Raise that fund for Tawheed Dawah Center as well from others, no problem. Because this construction will go on for what? For a pretty, pretty, little bit long time, inshallah. It will take time to build the Islamic Center. And we will need your continuous support for this project, inshallah. So any brother here for 25,000, inshallah. One brother we can have, inshallah, for $25,000. Any brother, inshallah, will make a special dua for this brother. We all will make a special dua, inshallah. One brother, inshallah. One brother, inshallah. From one family, one big family, inshallah, we have extended family members. We all can get together, inshallah, support the Awheed Dawah Center and promise to raise $25,000, inshallah. One brother, inshallah. Any brother. We can have, inshallah, $20,000. Any brother here, inshallah. One brother. One brother for $20,000, inshallah, for the Awheed Dawah Center. We'll make a special dua, inshallah. It's very difficult, I know. As I mentioned to you, my respected brothers, giving money, you know, when it comes to money, Rasulullah said, just because Allah has granted you money doesn't mean that Allah will accept it. A lot of people have, well, alhamdulillah, many of us have the ability to give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but because Allah does not accept our wealth, we don't get it utilized in the correct way. So for that reason, it will be our hushna sibi. It will be a luck from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that today we get the opportunity to give $20,000 for Tawheed Dawah Center. And this will be one of the biggest and best investment for us on the day of Qiyam. Any brother here for $20,000 inshallah. One brother we can have inshallah. Any brother here. Maybe we can have inshallah two brothers for $10,000 inshallah. Two brothers for $10,000 for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two brothers inshallah. Can we have two brothers for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? $10,000 inshallah. Many respected brothers. Alhamdulillah. Many of us have the ability to give. I'll give you one small story. In this dunya, in this dunya, we make a lot of du'as, yes or no? We make a lot of du'as. Bless me this, Wallah, give me this, Wallah, give me that. And many of our du'as, we do not get the natija, we do not get the result in this world. Yes or no? Many times we ask for things, but we don't receive it. So there was a banda, according to the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for many things, but he did not get it. So on the day of Qiyamah, he saw all the things that he wanted in this dunya, in the hereafter. So he asked Allah that, Oh Allah, how come I have all this good deeds, piles of good deeds, and all the things that I wanted, and I did not do anything? Then Allah will say to him, Oh my banda, you have asked for all these in the dunya. We were unable to give you, but we have kept it for the akhir. Then you know what the banda will say? He said, Oh Allah, I wish, I wish that you had not given me anything in the dunya. Everything was given in the akhir. So my dear respected brothers, we have, alhamdulillah, many of us are blessed with the wealth. And we are utilizing for this dunya. But one thing that we should know for sure, and we know for sure, that whatever we are giving to Tawheed Dawah Center, this is everlasting forever. On the day of Qiyamah, when we will see the reward, for whatever we are giving in the Tawheed Dawah Center, we will have that regret and make sure, and tell ourselves that you know what? Why didn't I give more? Why didn't I give everything? Because whatever we have spent for the dunya will not be there for us. So any brother here, inshallah, to help the Tawheed Dawah Center do their groundbreaking, ten thousand dollars, inshallah, ten thousand dollars for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We can have at least one brother, inshallah, one brother for $10,000 inshallah. Any brother here for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, $10,000 inshallah. Ma'ashallah. Brother, say takbeer. 
Allah. Allah. When we say takbir, when we take the name of Allah, should we, you know, say it in a louder tone or lower tone? What do you think? <laughs> Let's try one more time. Have some energy, inshallah. The food is waiting. In few minutes, inshallah. We'll finish. Takbir. Takbir. One of the greatest benefits of saying takbir loudly is that when we say takbir, what happens? Shaitan runs away. And at this moment, trust me, Shaitan is working very hard. Inshallah. I want to request our uh, you know, the brother uh, to just come up, Inshallah. We wanted to give some gift to him. Uh, since course. he's the first of one who we'll starts uh, with, so Inshallah with our guest, Inshallah. Uh, of course. Mama? Also, we'll make special dua for you. And we will make a special dua for our first Sadiqi brother, mashallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. So, please, come brother. Brother Osama, mashallah. Right. Zat Allah, Khair Osama, right. Thanks. Yes, inshallah. Zat Allah, Khair. Let's make a special dua for this brother, inshallah, for the Osama. Trust me, it wasn't easy for him to raise his hand. Giving up what you love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the biggest tests of this dunya. And definitely Allah has designed this world in such a way that we love the dunya. Yes or no? We love the dunya. You know, Musa salam asked Shaytan, what are, who are you afraid of, afraid of the most? Then you know what he said? He said, I'm afraid of a banda who is sakhi than a banda who is a abd, who is a worshiper. I'm afraid of a person who is not a abd but he's sakhi. With his sakhawat, his generosity will pull him towards him. So let's make a special dua for Brother Usama, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. May Allah say ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his children. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his children for the khidmah of the deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him Jannat al firdaus And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him for his whole family, inshallah. And accept this donation, accept this contribution for Tawheed Da'wah Center as a sadaqah jariya for him and his entire family. Say Amin. Any other brother, inshallah? Who will be the second brother to raise? Inshallah. Who is the second brother for inshallah ten thousand dollars inshallah? Any other brother here? Any other brother here who would like to inshallah match Brother Osama's contribution inshallah? Any other brother here inshallah? Any other brother? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to say Ameen. So my dear respected brothers, you know this wealth that we have in this dunya, whatever that Allah has bestowed us with, is definitely a ni'mah from Allah. Is definitely what? A ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What in arms and thus? Takbir! But it's again, when we're saying takbir, we are you know, showing that we're very weak. We don't want to show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be blood show. With His name, that we are very strong, inshallah. Say takbir! Takbir! Inshallah. We have a second brother who would not like to disclose his name. I would like to stay anonymous. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we can make to Allah knows who is. Allah knows who is. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his generosity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his children. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him and his children for the khidmah of his deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him and his family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this contribution on behalf of him, on behalf of Tawheed Da'wah Center, as well as making a means of sadaqah jariyah for his family and for himself. Say Amin. My dear respected brothers, any other brothers inshallah, any other brother inshallah, would like inshallah match this $10,000 inshallah. Any other brother? Can we have a third brother? You know? Allah is with him. Allah is God, right? Yes or no? And Allah loves me. Allah loves us. Now we are not at the odd number, right? We have two people, right? We need to make it out, inshallah. So who is that third brother, inshallah, will make this an odd number, inshallah? Who will be the third brother to contribute ten thousand dollars for Tawheed Da'wah Center, inshallah? Any other brother here, inshallah? Any other brother here? Again, I mentioned to you that you do not have to write the check today. You can write the check after one month, no problem. We need that commitment because this construction will go on, inshallah. 
So we will need your continuous support. And you can make this payment as an installment payment, inshallah. So any brother here, inshallah, who would like to contribute $10,000 for Tawheed Dawah Center, inshallah. Any other brother here, inshallah. The third brother. Then we'll go down, inshallah. Can we have the third brother for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help Tawheed Dawah Center, inshallah? Can we have the third brother, inshallah? My dear respected brothers, as I was just mentioned, whatever Allah has bestowed us in this dunya, is it ours? Brothers, so don't you answer. Is it ours? Yes or no? Whatever you have in this dunya, is it yours? Is it yours? It's the perception of shaitan. It's the deception of the dunya to think that it is ours. Nothing is ours. Nothing is ours. Everything belongs to Allah. Allah has blessed us with it. Allah has given on us our life as an amanah, as a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see what we do. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا أَمْوَالُكُمْ وَأَوْلَادُكُمْ فِتْنًا Your man, your wealth, your belongings, your children are a means of test and trial for you. Nothing permanently belongs to you. It's just here with you temporarily. Allah said it's a mata'. Mata' means it's a tool. It's what? It's a tool. And you keep the tool on the side. Ilahin until you're dead. That's it. When we die, we will not have it. It will be transferred to somebody else. Let's make use of it while we have it. There will be a time where we want to utilize it. But we will not have the opportunity despite the fact that we are living on the face of the earth. Anonymous 10,000. Anonymous 10,000. MashaAllah. Takbir. Takbir. Again, don't be loud, MashaAllah. Takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again, He wants to stay in Adams. In Tukdul Surahat, for the Ibani and Tukfa, Tukfa, and Tukfa, and Tukfa, and Tukfa, Allah says, If you want to mention your name, Alhamdulillah. But if you want to stay, stay unanimous, Allah blesses you more. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in his life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him and his family as the khatma of his deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him, forgive his family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this contribution as a means of forgiveness for his sins and his family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this contribution as a means of sadaqah jariyah and a way to earn jannah for him and his family in the day of the Yaab, inshallah. Say ya. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. So we have three brothers, Alhamdulillah. Do you think we should continue or go down? Continue. Many other times we go down at the mashallah, there are brothers that are within the community, they may bring us up again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability, inshallah. So now I would like to see, inshallah, 10 brothers for $5,000. Can we do that, inshallah? What do you think? Ten brothers, inshallah. You know, inshallah. You know, Musa alayhi salam, he has his daughter, right? Who was married to? Sorry, Shuaib Ali Salam. His daughter was married to who? You know, Musa is mashallah, yeah, fellow mashallah. He knows mashallah. So, and you know what was the mahat? What was the mahat for the daughter of Shuaib Ali Salam? Ten years of labor. Nowadays we give five thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, but Musa Ali Salam gave how many? Ten years of Labor, imagine you're earning 100k, six figure salary, and you're giving 10 years salary for a month. It's a very difficult task. It's a very difficult task. So, this is why I like number one, 10. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that, inshallah. So, who would be the brother? Who would be the brother to be the first one to raise his hand for $5,000, inshallah, for Tawheed Dawah Center? Mashallah. Takbir. Takbir. Mashallah. So like, you're a little bit troubled with you guys. I want to honor all the brother who is giving, inshallah, with a gift, inshallah, with you, inshallah. So, uh, all the brother who is giving, inshallah, 5,000, we wanted to count 10, and inshallah, will uh, our guests, uh, you know, inshallah, they will give them gift also, inshallah. Come, brother, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. Second, third, inshallah, we can start soon, inshallah, food is waiting.
Yes, sir, please. Sir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your business. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his family. I know him, mashallah. What are you gathering that he goes? Alhamdulillah, he comes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in his family and his business. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him, be happy with him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say happy, inshallah. Amen. Who will be the second brother, inshallah? Very quickly, if we can have 10 brothers, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the quicker we finish, the sooner we get to eat, inshallah, dinner. Yes, sir. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the quicker we finish, the sooner we get to eat, inshallah, dinner. So who will be the second brother for five thousand dollars, inshallah, for Tawheed Dawa Center? Tawheed Dawa Center for five thousand dollars. My dear respected brothers, who will be the second brother, inshallah, for Tawheed Dawa Center, inshallah? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for Tawheed Dawa Center. Any brother here, inshallah, for five thousand dollars? Mashallah. Any brother here? My dear respected brothers. One thing that I want to remind you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with three types of love. How many types of love? Three. How many types of love? Three. Love for love. Three. Three. First type of love is a means of khayr. Allah mentions in the Holy Quran, يَسْأَلُونَكَ مَا دَيْنِكُونْكُ الْمَا فَقْتُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ Allah says, this is the wealth that is khayr. It's a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wealth that is a blessing is a world that earns us Jannah. Remember A world that is a blessing in this dunya, Allah has blessed you with a portion of your world that you spent for the sake of Allah. That means what? It is a blessing because why? It is earning you Jannah. It is earning you Jannah. Second type of world that we have, Allah mentions, Allah says, it's a means of test and trial for us. Allah wants to see what we want, what we do with our world. He gives us, He makes us millionaire. He makes us millionaire. He increases our salaries, our income. To see, with that increase, what do I do? Do I earn Jannah or do I earn Jahannam? The third type of wealth that Allah blesses us with is an amana. It's not a blessing. Allah mentions the Holy Quran. وَلَا تُعْجِبْكَ أَمْوَالُهُمْ وَلَا أُولَادُهُمْ إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ يَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَتَسْحَقَ أَنْفُسُونَ Allah says to not be astounded by their wealth because Allah has given them that wealth to curse them and to punish them. So my dear respected brothers, we are in a testing phase. We are what? In a test phase. Because Allah is testing us. We all came with an intention, my dear respected brothers, that we will help Tawheed Dawa Center. All of us already set up a line and said, you know what? I'm going to give $1,000. I'm going to give $2,000. I'm going to give $500. Before coming to this majlis, we already set up our mind. Now the test is that, can we increase that budget according to the taqasa, according to the need? We all came with the intention, you know what? I'm going to give $1,000. i am going to give 2000 The fundraising is already done at home. The mashwara is already done at home. But my respect to others, when you come to these type of majlis, there's another test of trial for you. One test is that for you to come here with the intention of giving. Another test you face when you come here. Shaitan is whispering, if I write a $5,000 check, what will happen? I will not be able to play this balance, that balance off. It's a test for us. So my dear respect to others, let us all defeat Shaitan today, inshallah. Let us all defeat Shaitan today and pass that test in the treasury of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So who will be that second brother inshallah to pass that test and write a $5,000 check and make a promise of $5,000? Who will be that second brother inshallah? Who will be that second brother inshallah? Who will make a special dua for this brother inshallah? Who will be that second brother inshallah for $5,000? Can we have at least few brothers inshallah, five brothers inshallah. Instead of ten, let's just say five inshallah. Let's say five inshallah. Who will be that second brother inshallah? For five thousand dollars, as I mentioned to you again and again, you do not write. To, you do not need to write the check today. You can write a thousand dollar check today. Whatever you intended to give, you can give that today, and then make a promise, inshallah, that by next month or within six months or five months, we'll pay the remaining balance, inshallah. So any brother here for five thousand dollars, inshallah. Any brother here, inshallah, will not take this much time when we go to lower numbers. I know. When we get to the lower numbers, Alhamdulillah, we have a lot of brothers raising their hand. 
That's why Allah says, as for Al-Qalul, those individuals who raise their hands first, they're always will be rewarded in a higher manner in the eyes of Allah. So any brother here for $5,000, inshallah? Can we have the second brother? Any brother, inshallah? Can we have the second brother before we go down, inshallah? Can we have the second brother for $5,000 for Tawheed Dawah Center, inshallah? Any brother here, inshallah, will make a special dua, inshallah. Imran Nehmet, yes, inshallah. Brother Imran Nehmet, inshallah, come forward, inshallah. So, Mashallah, Imran Nehmet, inshallah. From the day first, when we started in uh, 2015, this Musala, from day first, uh, his, not only him, his mother and father, uh, father, mashallah, and uh, his mother also, uh, his mother uh, passed away last year. She used to pay separately, her mother used to pay separately to our toy Dawa Center and support our kids, students, and Mandela. Zatullah Khair Imran Bhai. This was the first family. The ladies was paid separately, giving separately sadaqa uh, for our you know, center. MashaAllah. <laughs> may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his rabbi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his family, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his children, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them be of him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a means of sadaqah ajaliyah for him and his entire family. Say amin. Amin, mashallah. Who will be the second brother, inshallah, for $5,000? Any brother here, inshallah, for $5,000 to make that commitment, inshallah? Any brother here, inshallah, for $5,000? And we have the last brother, inshallah. The last brother before we go down, inshallah, for $5,000. Can we have the last brother, inshallah? One last brother. Make it easy for us, inshallah. Make it easy for us, inshallah. One brother for $5,000. Then we'll go down, inshallah, make it easy for everybody. Any brother here for $5,000? The last brother, inshallah. You know, those individuals who give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a special reward for him or for her. They make the dua is made every single day. Every single day. Angels make dua. Two angels are descended down. The first angel that makes dua, Allahumma a'ati munfiqan badan. That, oh Allah, those individuals who give in the path of Allah, give them badan. Give them what? Jazah. Give them the reward. And another angel descends down. And he says, Allahumma a'ati munfiqan talafan. Those individuals who has the ability to give, who has the Ability to give, they can give, but they restrict themselves. They do not allow themselves to hold on to their love due to the love of the dunya. Allah says, that angel says, oh Allah, destroy them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us not amongst them. Say ameen. So my dear respect and brothers, if you have the ability to support the Tawheed Da'wah Center today, inshallah, please extend your hand to establish this house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will be a means of sadaqah jariyah for you and a way to go to paradise. A way to go to paradise. A continuous charity, inshallah. Who will be that last brother for $5,000? Who will be that last brother, inshallah, for $5,000? Any brother here for $5,000, inshallah? Can we have that last brother, inshallah, before we go down? Make it easy for us, inshallah. Any brother here? Any brother here, inshallah, for $5,000? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, yes, as I mentioned to you, you can write that $5,000, as I mentioned, you do not need to give it today. You can collect from your friends and extended family members, and Make it easy for Tawheed Da'wah Center to accomplish their mission. So inshallah, any brother here? Last call inshallah. Any brother here? Mashallah. Takbir. Takbir. Mashallah. Brother. Our name was Adnan by Yudha Mashallah. Got the gift from our Lord. He made it easy for us inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Bless his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in his family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a means of sadaqah jariyah for him and his entire family. Say ameen. Ameen ya Allah. Say ameen inshallah. Inshallah. Ameen. 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 Ameen.
Alhamdulillah. So who will be the fourth brother, inshallah, for $2,500, inshallah? Who will be the fourth brother? Can we have five brothers, inshallah? We need two more, inshallah, and then we'll go down. Two more brothers for $2,500, inshallah. $2,500, two more brothers, inshallah. Very quickly, inshallah. You know, as I was mentioning, all of us have issues in this dunya. All of us have difficulties and problems in this dunya. And you know how to solve your problems? Can you solve your problems? No. You cannot solve your problems. It is only Allah who can solve the problems. Yes or no? It is only Allah who can solve the problems. You cannot solve your own problems. If Allah wants to solve, it will be solved. If Allah does not want it to be solved, no matter what you do, the problem will not go away. And one of the ways is to solve your problems through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by giving sadaq. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you have difficulties, if you have problems in your life, and you want them to go away, and you want them to be resolved, the first thing that you should do is give in the hand of Allah sadaq. Because salama relieves us from difficulties, relieves us from our problems. So my dear speaker, brothers, if we're facing difficulties, our sisters as well, if we're facing any difficulties or hardship, one of the things that we can do today, inshallah, is to donate towards the Fiqh Center with the intention that, you know what, this, let this donation relieve me from this trouble, relieve me from this difficulty and problem, inshallah. So who would be that fourth brother, inshallah, with that intention? Is there any brother here, fourth or the fifth, or sisters, inshallah? Sisters as well. 200 a month. It will be 2400, inshallah. $200 a month, inshallah. Any brother here for $2,500 for the Mahid Dawah Center? The fourth and the fifth brother, inshallah. MashaAllah. Takbir. MashaAllah. Takbir. MashaAllah. We have the fourth brother. We'll make dua for both of them, inshallah. Who will be the fifth brother? The last brother for $2,500. The last brother for $2,500, inshallah. To relieve us from our difficulties and worries and problems, inshallah. Any sister as well? Please, sisters, come forward and assist us in this project, inshallah. Who will be that fifth individual? Brother or sister, inshallah. Brother or sister. Who will be that fifth individual, the last individual for $2,500 for Tawheed Dawah Center, inshallah. We can go down and quickly finish this. We have two more numbers to go and I'm sure it will be very quick. Okay, inshallah. Any brother here, inshallah. For the fifth brother, for $2,500. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to contribute towards the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The last brother or sister inshallah for $2,500. Any brother here? MashaAllah. Okay, so let's do this very quickly. Can we have at least 10 brothers to donate $100 a month, $1,200, that's it. Can we have 10 brothers? We went down and now we must bring up Mashallah. Takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his brother. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his brother as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his family and his children. To both of them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their families, accept their contribution and make it a means, make it a means of Salah by Jari. Alhamdulillah, we have five brothers who are donating $2,500. So Alhamdulillah, now we have any brother here, inshallah, all the brothers, 10 brothers, inshallah, can we have at least $100 a month, inshallah. Can we very quickly raise our hands? $100 a month. Everybody should. Yes. <laughs> all of us are here to contribute. $100 a month. That's $1,200. $100 a month. Can we raise our hands, inshallah? We can start counting, inshallah, $100 a month, inshallah. $100 a month. So we can finish, inshallah. The guest has to leave also. Uh, they have to go somewhere. $100 a month, inshallah. Can we raise our hands very quickly so we can conclude inshallah? If you do not raise your, if you do not want to raise your hand, that is also okay. But make sure you uh, you don't stay that unanimous that we can't find you. That would be difficulty for us. So try to inshallah grab the flesh form and write your information. Write your information, inshallah. All the brothers, whoever is here, inshallah, they'll be contributing. They can count the name, uh, brother, inshallah. They can just raise the hand, hundred dollars a month, inshallah. $100 a month, $1,200 a year, that's about it. $1,200, this is the last number that we'll be, inshallah, requesting you to contribute towards the Tawhid Dawah Center, inshallah. Okay, ready? Yes, mashallah. Takbir, mashallah, takbir. We can count, inshallah, one, inshallah. Huh? Mashallah. Okay, mashallah. 
Oh, love.